Well, our work um, has evolved. I mean, the genetic, the nice thing about the genetic code, in a way, was that it was a problem that had an answer at the end. You know, not that it's completely solved uh, with the elucidation of the code when you can write it in a table, but you can come to an answer, a nice, clean answer. And my own work after that turned really to work in an effort to try to understand the genetic basis of the diversity of antibodies. As we learned a little bit more about what antibodies were, of course, the defense mechanism against infectious disease, we learned that there was a very special genetic mechanism that generated the enormous diversity that was necessary to encounter all the antigens that an organism might encounter during its lifetime. So, contact with measles and mumps virus and a whole host of range of bacteria and allergens and so on. Where's the genetic information that allows you to make antibodies directed against all these uh, elements? You said that the beauty and brilliance are in the details. Well, <laughs> and that's certainly in the case of immunoglobulins, in the, the case of the problem of the genetic basis of antibody diversity, it was a, a gloriously detailed solution to that problem. And uh, basically, uh, you take information which is encoded in a linear fashion, and uh, let, let's say a sentence, uh, I love cats, and that's what you, you say. And, and let's say that you are able to select uh, uh, another word, like Scrabble, if you will, another letter, or substitute for cat any one of 20 other words. You give it a totally new meaning, I love dogs. And that's what you can do in the immune system, in encoding these uh, antibody molecules. You can switch these uh, genetic segments around so that they completely change the meaning. And you can thereby make an antibody that interacts with measles virus. And some small change, selecting another segment or fragment of genetic information, will allow you to use that same, most of that same antibody to now make an antibody that's directed against ragweed pollen. So it's, it's elegant and very powerful. But again, it was a problem that, at least in my mind, could be solved. And when it was solved, it was, there, people have learned a great deal more about it, which is very interesting.